No one likes Dan, you know that, except Viper. I don't know, I like Dan, he's awesome. Shut your mouth, shut your mouth. <laughs> pretty much everybody named Dan is pretty awesome. <laughs> it's also true. <laughs> don't tell him again, that's not even cool. Oh, I, uh, now I don't know what to do, I got two conflicting voices. Oh, you know what, here, you should tell the story. Things like this. <laughs> <laughs> Just be like, Rawr, I'm a dinosaur! <laughs> <laughs> and then, All like, right, when you're I'm talking, you can be like, better. Oh, did, do, I, do I really sound black you? Oh, it flips so perfectly. Lord Jesus Christ! And, our, and our God! We need, we need your help uh, in this time of distress. Especially the Rager. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to kill you. The, the power of God's hand will strike thee in, in the form of lightning. If you, if you don't shut the heck up. Uh, please someone fire the priest. <laughs> so that same guy was he was pulling into work and it was like a pull through spot and another guy an old guy in a truck pulled into the same spot as he did in the opposite direction right which is fine because then they both take their spots um and as as they were parking uh the old guy and my buddy linked eyes right so like they saw each other and the old guy smiled at my buddy and stuck both his arms out in front of him and waved him backwards but, but and my buddy was like the fuck? Who are you, guy? I'm not moving so that you can have a pull through spot. Right? So my buddy parked his car and got out like any rational person would do. And the, guy rolled, the old guy rolled down his window and called him a fucking asshole. <laughs> and then 10 minutes later went in and complained to one of our grocery managers saying that, Oh, one of your employees wouldn't move for me and my truck doesn't have reverse so I can't get out backwards and... Well, that's your fault for having an old booty truck. Yeah, and, and the manager was like, Did you tell him that your truck doesn't have reverse? Well, no. <laughs> okay, well, what did you say to him? Well, I called him a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so how how is he supposed to know that you couldn't get out? Well, I suppose that's a good point. <laughs> so, so he called my buddy, right? And was like, Darren, can you move your car? And he was like, yeah, all right, sure, whatever. And so he went out and, you know, he slowly fucking waddled his way over to his car and got in and turned the radio off and checked the AC and adjusted his mirrors and back there <laughs> at 0.3 kilometers an hour. <laughs> so this guy can move, right? <laughs> it's like a 10 minute process. <laughs> His neighbor sends an email to him and says, I received your note, but you can't go onto other people's property and take things. That's trespassing. Massey Newton is a wooded area, and I installed that light for security. It's a safety issue. I can't help it if some of the light goes across the road. Close your curtains if it bothers you. And so he responded. Thank you for your email. While I accept that curtains are usually the key to community accord, in this instance, I think they would need to be constructed of 8-inch thick lead sheeting. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, with my curtains closed and my bedside light off, I read a book, wearing sunglasses, under a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> Three terror lock globes are reserved for police helicopter chases and warning sailors of hazardous shoals. This is despite <laughs> the fact that practically every creature there can kill you in under three minutes. Our primary spoken language is screaming. I'm not surprised you get along well with all the other neighbors. If you put 50 children in, with Down syndrome in a room, there's going to be a lot of hugging. And no, it was not a threat. It was an exaggerated response to an optimizing stance. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm not surprised you get along well with all the other neighbors. If you put 50 children with Down syndrome in a room, there's going to be a lot of hugging. <laughs> <laughs> oh my 
my God. And no, it was not a threat. It was an exaggerated response to an uncompromising stance. I was taught never to make a threat unless you are prepared to carry it out, and I am not a fan of carrying anything. Even watching other people carry things makes me uncomfortable, mainly because of the possibility they may ask me to help. I would be quite as bright as yours, but this would require some form of carrying things, electrical wiring knowledge, and access to a power supply capable of producing the, that amount of wattage, probably fusion. As I am told off by my partner for wasting money when I leave the light on in the bathroom overnight, I can only speculate to what her reaction would be to an electricity bill eight times our annual income for retali retaliatory garden lighting. She would probably have to get a third job. <laughs> it would be much cheaper to stand in my driveway and throw rocks. I can't help it if some of the rocks go across the road. You should probably put something up in your window. Regards. <laughs> my name is Dwayne. Yeah. Yeah. My, my, name my name is, is Shaquisha. One up, pass boy. My name is what? Phil Burp. What? What? Who said one up? I'm one coming, up. don't. One up. Don't go up, was that me? Don't come up, go, don't go up. My go. name is Phil Burp. You have to wait for it's me. also Busta Brown. What What are you doing? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm... And the next email is, Did you take our lamp again, asshole? What part of not being allowed to go on our property don't you get? <laughs> and his response was, No, I did not take the light again. I relocated it again. Its current location may be discovered by deciphering the following set of clues to its whereabouts. <laughs> Perhaps you can invite your friend Ryan over and treat it as a kind of treasure hunt. One, <laughs> it's in the letterbox again. Two, look in the letterbox. As I realize this probably won't narrow it down much for you, I will give you a third clue in the form of a riddle. What burns with the light of a thousand suns and is in the letterbox? <laughs> 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 and the response was, I put a small lamp in so you can shut the fuck up now. Don't email me again, and if you ever trespass on our property again, I will press charges. <laughs> and his response was, <laughs> His response was, What if I have a barbecue and need to send you an invitation? Is it okay to email you then? Regards, David. <laughs> and the response was, No, it's not okay. And the response to that was, what if I need to borrow your lawnmower? I can't invite people over for a barbecue and expect them to stand in long grass. Someone might be bitten by a snake. It's a safety issue. Regards, David. <laughs> and, and the guy said, fuck off back to Austria. <laughs> the wrong place. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and that's my story.